Hi folks, sorry about the lack of videos lately. Uh, I've been working on a bunch of different projects that just uh, unfortunately haven't really produced anything video worthy lately. Uh, what I have for you today though is a bunch of Smith & Wesson handcuffs. Uh, we have the model 100-1, uh, that's their sort of most common model. Uh, the model 100 m and which is a variant of the model 100 and we'll go over the differences between those in a moment. Uh, the Model 300, which uh, is basically uh, just a hinged version of the Model 100, and then the Model 1, uh, or the so-called universal cuff. Um, basically though, all of these uh, internally are pretty much identical. Uh, there's some very small differences in the way that the double lock is applied, but inside the handcuff, uh, it actually works exactly the same way and uh, uses uh, basically the same parts to do it. So um, the key thing though is that they do all use the exact same key. Uh, this is Smith & Wesson standard key. Uh, my next video will be uh, discussing a another uh, Smith & Wesson model that does not use their standard key and we'll go over why uh, that is exactly in uh, that video but for now uh, we're going to go over how to pick these handcuffs uh, using nothing more than a standard bobby pin now I picked up a big package of these at my local big box pharmacy for just a few dollars and it does pay to it pays off to spend the extra 50 cents or a dollar on the package to get the ones that are made of actual metal instead of the ones that are uh, mostly plastic. Uh, because just the plastic ones, they may work for one use, but they break very easily, especially when you try to put a sharp bend in it. And that's kind of what we're going to do because uh, this is pretty much all you need. This is a bobby pin where I have scraped uh, the plastic coating off the ends and then put uh, two small bends in it. The very small bend here is uh, useful for undoing the double lock on these Smith & Wesson handcuffs, uh, while the slightly longer tip is useful uh, for lifting the ratchet pole and actually releasing the cuff. So we'll start with the Model 100s. Uh, this slot here uh, actually goes all the way through the cuff and come on, focus there. Focus. There we go. And as you can see, that little bar inside that slot is the actual double lock. So now you can see uh, that it has been applied and the handcuff cannot be closed any further, nor can it be opened. Uh, normally, standard way of operating is to insert the key, turn it uh, one way towards the uh, chain swivel, and now the double lock is undone, and then you turn it again the other way, and the handcuff opens. So we're just going to apply that double lock again, there we go, and we're going to take the small end of our uh, bobby pin, slide it in there, and just slowly work our way around the edge of the keyhole until we get up to around the one o'clock position, at which point we should be encountering the tip of the double lock. And then we just use the edge of the keyway and the center post of the uh, for the key uh, to give us a little bit of leverage. Just bend over, and now the double lock is undone. Work our way back around, remove the tool, flip it around, and this time we want the tip uh, facing towards the inside of the cuff. We're going to use a sort of scooping motion to try to get under the pole, and just lever it up. And that's model 100 open. Uh, now the 
M and P. Internally is the same except for one uh, very important difference, and that is how the double lock is applied. It is released the exact same way, but instead of having to use the back of the key and fiddling around with a slot or uh, trying to fit it into a small hole on the side of the handcuff, uh, like we will with the Model 1s, uh, this just has this little uh, finger activated lever like that. And it snaps back automatically and now the handcuff is double locked. Same tool, same process, just slide the narrow bit in there, work it around until you get some resistance, which should be uh, hitting the double lock bar, and then just lever on it a bit. Should feel a little bit of a click, and that should now be uh, only single locked. And then we're going to take that long end again, work the tip uh, underneath the pole, and lever, and there we go. Model 300 is again just the Model 100 with a uh, hinge instead of a chain link between the two cuffs. Uh, literally is exactly the same inside here. It even still uses the same faceplate as you can see. This a little bump here is uh, for the chain swivel, which obviously is not present on the hinged version. Uh, so we don't need to worry about that. And then there's uh, the Model 1. Come on, focus. Uh, the Model 1, the main difference is that uh, the standard Model 1 uses uh, the uh, push pin style double lock, which is uh, much more common uh, in all brands of handcuffs than uh, the slot driven one or the little spring lever version. Um, but you just take the back of the key, stick that post in the hole, and push in, and now that is double locked. Uh, they call the Model 1 the universal model because the slightly different shape of the uh, bow and ratchet arm uh, allow it to open a slightly wider, or slightly, sorry, uh, it allows it to lock closed uh, both slightly larger and slightly narrower than uh, the standard more circular uh, Smith & Wesson cuff design. But again, even though we are using, even though we're dealing with the push pin application, uh, we just work that short tip in, work it around towards the 12 o'clock position, just short of that, we hit this bit of resistance. We just lever off uh, the center post and the edge of the keyway until we get a little bit of a click, and that's the double lock disengaging. We work our way back around to the bottom. We insert the long tip there, try to angle it, and scoop upwards, and we've got it open. Uh, making a tool like this, even when you are in handcuffs, is uh, fairly simple, uh, and essentially these same tools can be made out of just about any piece of sufficiently thin uh, wire, so this is why police departments, uh, one, try to make sure that they uh, thoroughly pat people down when they put them in handcuffs, two, why they are supposed to always double lock handcuffs, and three, why there are laws making it uh, a felony to escape a lawful arrest, or uh, in a lot of jurisdictions have concealed uh, handcuff keys or similar tools on your person when you're arrested. So. Uh, until next time, 
have fun, stay safe, and especially try to, you know, stay legal. Uh, don't go and try to impress the cops that are putting you in the back of their car uh, by demonstrating this. Save it for uh, a more appropriate occasion.